Hey guys, what's up? Juice Monster 88 here. Happy Easter and happy belated Easter for this video. Who saw this video before me? Um, here I am, give you an update from me for 2018 of March, though, even though it's past that already, and now it's April 1st. Also, happy Fool's Day for anybody who likes to make practical jokes on some things, some people there, and everything else around here for all the uh, people out there who enjoy Easter as well. And um, that's about all I have to say about that. But here I am, about to talk some update about me, though. Um, I had to delay the project I was been working on. I did work on it, I just had to like. Uh, try to take my time and make sure it's just like smooth and polished and everything else. I don't know. Try and like make things uh, very look good for this free show I'm working on right now on YouTube. And it's kind of a little bit of a vicious title. I have it on as a free show for a vicious title. Of course, I'm using the game engine for something on the uh, Xbox 360 and uh, um, some of the CW show I was talking about a long time ago. And I said it's the CW show two years ago, but now I'm working on another one that I was working on. It just hit me in the head, though. I wasn't going to work on and I decided now to make on it as best I can of course though it might take me uh, a couple of uh, weeks of doing this one even though I just got started it uh, somewhere in mid-march and I had to slow down due to personal stuff in my plate you know everything I have to do care of family is issues and all that stuff around there and the there to there you know all type of real life shit and reality that take you down by trying to get uh, forward to it you get so tired after all the reality stuff getting in your head you trying to like make something ambitious of it but I'm still getting my head straight and focus on it as best I can for me I mean I can do what I can to try and do the project I've been working on I've been working on in the um, past couple of days though and I still like I got started it I just had to find a way how to finish it and try and like present it and try and make a polish to make it uh, look good it maybe not be as good and maybe uh, I'm not gonna be like I'm not I'm not gonna please anybody about this project I worked on but I will work on it as best I can to do it though also um I know I I haven't done update videos for almost like a month though, um, because I do to that one and some personal stuff though. But I'll do my best to do some release some let's plays idea because trying to make a let's play videos is kind of uh, frustrating. It is competitive, but it's not like other frustrating. It's easy to pick a game to play on. You try to find a game that's kind of like uh, something that's different, obscure, and try and I don't want to make views, but it's just the fun of it. Even though I appreciate for all 60 subscribers who are watching me on my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for almost like almost 10 years, if, if I said so. But uh, me personally, um, it's great to do it. And I thought I was like, back in the day, I was unemployed for doing these videos, but now employed has some other responsibilities. It's kind of really difficult to focus on doing YouTube videos with other personal life, you know. That's just uh, the bottom reality line about it. I know I'm dedicated to keep on doing it. I do. But it's like I try to figure out how I can make this work. How I'm going to execute it. How and I'm going to make this work. You just can't just like release it and put it on YouTube. I remember just did that a long time ago. But now that's just like pretty stupid to me now. I want to take my time with my project and try and like, you know, um, trying to take my uh, time with it, you know, you have to polish it in, trying to like, I'm sorry I keep trying to say that, it's a lot of things I'm saying my right without the script in my head though, so, I'm still, I, I'll release it when it's done, when it's done, you know, done's done, so, um, it may not be out on this month or next month, I'll try the best I can, I'll let you know when it's finished and I will deliver it on YouTube just for free for all the guys just watching it, and I may not, I will please you, please not, I don't care, I just do what I have to do. So, uh, other thing is, I like I said, I'm gonna do retro play as soon as possibly as I can because I've been talking about getting back to it. I just try to find a game in there. I have so many uh, classical collaboration games I bought on the Xbox, trying to find like a, a, a decent time practicing and play the games a bit because I was trying to have sit down and try to like tie the game as which one you think the retro play i did a vast of it it's just like so easy i just pick a game and just do it but now on the title of it it's like okay i think i'm almost out of ideas of it but i'm gonna keep doing it whatever it is that's just, just me personally um that's what i'm saying like i said before the the whole uh caw uh, caw show is still on uh, delay right now i'm still working on it and uh I'll release some let's plays as best I can for this uh, time right now and release some retro plays as best I can if I had the time to do it so um, as I know I try much as best I can to try and get the stuff done do the personal stuff in my plate though like I said before like everybody else in life okay what else um, 
Okay, here's the uh, pickups I had, but it's all digital. I bought a twenty dollar uh, gift card thing for uh, not a gift card, but a twenty dollar piece thing for the PSN, and they had a sale going on. So I'm gonna talk about the games I have though. In the background, I'm playing it is Dark Siders War Master Edition. Is the game I already got down on Xbox 360 as well, part one and two. The reason why I get the part one on uh, PS4 is because the second one's for free. I got it for free like last year ago, and I said it was on sale for like five four dollars on PSN I say screw it I'll get it and uh, I got the game it's still fun like the 360 version but it's like a lot smoother and a lot uh, better though so that one I really pressed that I play with and it's a really fun game it's like a dark side version of Legend of Zelda and it was had an interesting concept of it and uh, that's why I'm gonna get that and of uh, course I got part two on the uh, PS4 and now um I'm, I'm really excited about Darksiders 3 coming out on the uh, PS4 and uh, other consoles as well. I can't wait to play Darksiders 3 because I, I started to become a fan of the Darksiders series. I really like how it's structured and really like how, how it's going. I thought it was good just to be a one-time game original series, but I guess it makes sequels of it and it's a lot better. And tell you the truth, I'm kind of really glad this series is still going on because it's kind of like a... I'm almost mythology like a uh, lesson about these things so crazy us theories in our heads about the whole the four horsemen and the deadly sins and some death things all that crazy shit though and it's a really interesting game speaking of interesting game this one game I tr I downloaded I'm really curious about it and it's a game called here's the next game on the list Lich Dome Battle Mace and I hope I'm sorry I get that wrong but I found this game was a first person uh Wizard, uh, uh, Wizard, uh, Magic game, and it looks very different. It, the only thing flaw I don't like about the game is some kind of has a lot of frame styles. It kind of freeze a little bit for like two to three seconds though. And the game was still fun though. I like the how I expected it. it was different, original. But one thing I have frustrating about is the controls of the ambulatory system can be really clustered, and you have to press like some button, some button like two buttons to get to get to that mode while it's still going on. It's like a first person perspective version of Dark Souls, if I had to add, but not really though. If you want to talk about 2D Dark Souls, play Dora Mama um, Under the Moon though. That was a good game as well. I think you should recommend that one. It's like a 2D Dark Souls. But I bought that a long time ago. This is not. This is in, this is now. Um, so it was a really fun game. I enjoyed it. I started playing of it. It was it has a great story. You play as a male or female uh, drag called Dragon, and who's a wizard group trying to stop this cult group from just uh, destroying the world. So and I really enjoyed the play of the game of it. It has some uh, different perspectives, and um, you can play a male or female. The one thing I don't like about the game is the, uh, the, sometimes the menu controls can be confusing. The switch of weapons, I think, can be confusing. The crafting can be confusing a little bit. But if you can, if you keep playing it and try how it works, so it's kind of really fun though. So I enjoy playing Lich Dome Battle Mage Battle Merch uh, Battle. Whatever. I'm sorry if I get that wrong though, so excuse me for that. Um, the last one I got though on it is uh, so it's an old game from uh, Adult Swim Games that reference a lot of old school games a lot. It's Rise and Shine. Now, I heard some this a lot of, like a mixed opinion about the game. I did play it, it was really crazy. Uh, how was uh, the controls can be a little, comp little complex a little bit when you're aiming and aiming, shooting, and walking? It's like a two hit game, you got hit twice by the things you've done. And it was a, it was different. It tributes to all the classic video games, though. You see like a Mario reference in there. You see a Zelda reference in the game. You see some uh, uh, uh what was that game? Oh, a uh, flapping birds, uh, flapping birds, and some Galica reference and all that stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is it was kind of short. It's really short a little bit. If you play the game, it's pretty short though. And I like the way out of structure of the gameplay, but sometimes it gets really complex when you um, aim at it. When you thought you aim at the right place, but sometimes when you aim at it, it has some interesting original stuff element to it. But it's kind of like you gotta have really patience and really had the patience and time for playing this game though and i enjoyed it though it's like when i played the game the boss battle is really decent and the, the controls can be a little complex a little bit it take use to it's a different perspective gameplay of it so it's <laughs> 
I'm gonna say I enjoyed it though, so that's what I'm gonna say. And also, like I said, happy Easter and happy belated Easter for all you out there. I know I'm on my apology for scrimming much. I try I ain't say it with the script though, I say it in my mind though, so forgive me for that one as well. Um so like I said before, um I am still continuing on this project. I'm working on this free project I wanna release and um it's a CAW show. I am gonna release about five episodes, that's about it. So I'm still working on it and I'm trying to take my time on making that stuff happening for a free show. And that's about it. This is Juice Monster AEA. I know it's not that much update. I want to make something different in my videos. And that's why you try and take your time with your project. You just can't make a, a video rather than make a mess video and just put on the make the channel that I like to make my time. I like to make time in my videos to try and like make something different out of it. You know, just like other YouTubers I have right there. Despite me being a small YouTuber, I'm just going to keep pushing forward despite the BS what's going on. I'm just going to say keep pushing forward. That's what I'm going to say to me. Alright, so thank you all for listening. Juice Monster 88 sign out, and you have a good day.